Hello and welcome to Okuma's How To. My name is Jochen Onra. I'm the product specialist for multitasking machines and laces. And today I'm going to introduce our gear programming function, which is an option on our OSP suite. I first change the screen to the OSP suite and I choose the gear programming function. Then I want to do a new program. We have the possibility for skiving of inner diameter, outer diameter, or for outer diameter hobbing. Today I want to cut an inner diameter gear by skiving. Next, I have to use, uh, choose my cutting conditions. So I want to cut on the left spindle and I want to use origin number three for cutting. All the tool data which I use for gear programming are received from the tool supplier in this data sheet. The tool number I created under number 1234 the axis direction is B+. The tool diameter is 79.59 millimeters. Number of T's in the tools is 23. And we have an helix angle of 18 degrees. That's the tool data. Next is the gear data. So we have an internal diameter of 228.042 millimeters and a module of three. Number of T's in the gear is 78 and we are cutting a straight gear, so no helix angle and no spiral direction. The width of the part is 63 millimeters and the height of the tools is 5.05. <coughs> Cutting speed is 190 meters per minute. Crossing angle is 18 degrees. We have no angle offset. Uh, rough cutting depth of 0.5 millimeter. The finishing we keep to zero. Feet is 0.1 millimeter per tool revolution and the set axis start point is at zero and the end point is 63. We have an approach clearance in the front of 10 millimeters and in the end we're going to use four millimeters. Y axis approach 15 we can leave it as it is, 15 we keep also, Z axis retraction we also change to 15, face angle we could uh, adjust the start point we don't need. And we have a relief for safety of 10 millimeters, which is enough. Now I can uh, individually change the values of each cut. And I have some recommendations from the tool supplier for the cutting depths. So first cut, we're going to change to 1.01. Second cut, 0.85. Third cut, 0.71. Fourth cut, 0.6. Next is 0.5. Next is 0 0.42, 0.35, and 0 0.3. And then we have two semi finished cuts with 2.4 and with 0.16, and the last cut is 0 0.11. Uh, on the semi finishing, I want to reduce the feed rate, which I can put individually here. And after I have all the data set, I can also adjust the speed for the last cut. I can go to the program output. If everything OK, I can save the program under skiving ID 1. OK. And after I have done that, I find it in the program files. In the program files, I have the folder GPF, gear programming files. And I go now to Skyving ID1 min, which is now my NC program. I select the program and I push start. Thanks for joining our video. Check our other videos on our channels. If you have any questions or you need information, contact me and my team under info at okuma.eu.